Have you ever had a panic attack? What about a panic attack where the person who abused you is screaming at you? I will never name names because that is not my intent. My intent is to heal. I'm getting better. I moved out of a place that was full of negativity and I have come too far to let things like that get me down. It took me two years to get out, but my friends are helping me. I have to talk about it in order to heal. But in this world, people don't like to listen. They like to say, keep calm, carry on. But you can't keep calm before you heal. So I'm getting better because I am allowed to talk about it. Um, so I made this video. I gotta wrap this up. It's a minute. I got shit to do today. I have a job. See this? This is a receipt from Walmart. I'm cooking now. I paid for this with my money. I'm cooking. I've spent two years in a house of negativity and terrible flashbacks and stuff. And I finally got out. My phone's charging. Damn it. Do you know why I wear hats? Have you seen the girl with the dragon tattoo? Terrible things happen to her. And she changes her, she changes what she wears. The third one, she has like a mohawk and stuff. Because sometimes you get hurt really bad by people. Mine was a little bit different, but it makes you feel like you have control over your own life. It's kind of like a superhero wears a mask, you know? So I finally moved out. I think this is making sense. Uh, I just wanted to say I made this video. That was the past. Look at my face. I'm healthier now. I need to put makeup on and I was crying. But shit happens. I don't look healthy in this video. That was a video from the past and I want to let everyone know I'm safe because you don't know where I am. So the people that hurt me can't find me. I'm with staying with a friend and I have things that inspire me. You know, I have friends that bought me jeans. I helped me get a job, bought me shoes. And I'm getting better because I'm allowed to talk about it on this video. So thank you for listening. My friend got me this. Someone said, listen, the people that are hurting you, they're making you into a superhero. And I said, but it hurts. I don't want to be a superhero, you know? Sorry, look, it's a metaphor. You understand what I'm saying. Uh, but things like that do inspire me. Um, even though it would have been easier to just not get hurt. Um, my mom says, and listen, I don't want to name names, but there's no other way to heal. I don't mean to incriminate anyone. I just, I have to talk about it and no one listens. I have an appointment at a women's shelter, but no one listens to me in this world because the world never understands me. But my friend said, if I've learned one thing about superheroes, it's that the world will always fear that which they don't understand. I wish I could be just to have a normal life and have a life where no one hurts me, but that's not it. Movies like this inspire me because movies are my destiny. I will make movies, but I feel like this. And one day I will find a place that I can call home. But if this is the way people treat you, this is not my home. Um, if this is, if this, the hate like this that I see every single day and feel inside, if this is the way people treat each other, then I am not of this world. And I, I think you can understand what I'm saying. I'm going to keep writing. I have positive things going on right now. Positive shit. I know I've been crying, but look at my face. It looks healthier than it was. I'm cooking. Things that I weren't, I was not able to do for so long because people hurt me so bad. Uh, I know I've been crying, but look at my face. It looks healthier than it was. I'm cooking. Things that I weren't, I was not able to do for so long because people hurt me so bad. But I'm getting better, and so I want you to know that I'm fine. And this video is from the past. It ends abrupt. But I don't want anyone to freak out because I know how people don't understand me and they do things that hurt me. I am fine. I am safe because I have gotten away from the negativity. This video is art and it helps me heal. So I hope you can watch it. Um, and I hope some of that made sense. So don't worry about me because I'm a goddamn G. I'm a bad bitch.
would have been easier just to be a regular bitch, but uh, a lot of people hurt me. I've been through a lot of shit. I'm gonna make a rap video, and I don't give a fuck what people think. You gonna laugh at me? Good. Keep hating on me. It makes me stronger. I'm getting better, motherfuckers. And I will remember those who hurt me. And if you ever want to come back and say I'm sorry, it will be too late. I say things like that because it helps me. All right, I got to wrap this video up. Here's a video of the past. This is me now getting better. This was the past. So if you watch it, it would mean a lot to me. It's art. I'm fine. That's it. Hope your Tuesday's not too shitty. Thanks for listening. Love y'all. Oh, yeah, and here's my ass. Just because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right, I got to get ready. Bye. I don't know how I'm still here, but thanks for listening to me because I wouldn't be alive if you didn't listen to me. There's something about this place. Not just the loneliness, but the, not just the bad memories. There's something not right. And then... <laughs> it's too painful to keep seeing photos of people that don't really want to see me. Or even if they do see me, it seems like they don't see me. <laughs> I thought he was the last person who was there for me, but it's like I'm crying and my dad's yelling at me and I'm just like... <laughs> and he just says I can't take this anymore and I just don't know what to do. <laughs> and then I can't even find my keys to get out the door and he's just yelling at me. <laughs> why do I have to explain to people why it hurts when you don't want to see me on Christmas? <laughs> What? <laughs> and then if I say something, you shut your ears like you don't want me to.